So physical properties can be measured without altering the substance. For example, boiling point and freezing point, volume, density, viscosity, all of those things are physical characteristics. We're not changing the substance, we're just, so volume measures the amount of space a substance takes up, viscosity measures the resistance to motion when force is applied, density is the amount of mass per unit volume, melting point is the temperature in which a substance changes from a solid to a liquid, Boiling point is when a substance changes from a liquid to a gas. And freezing point is when a substance changes from a liquid to a solid. So when in a solid phase, molecules are really tightly packed together. In a liquid phase, they're relatively close. And in a gas phase, they're further apart, moving all around really fast. Changes in states of matter, like going from a gas to a solid or a solid to a liquid, can be an endothermic reaction, which requires heat, or an exothermic reaction, which takes heat away. So when we change from a solid to a liquid, that change is considered melting, and that's an endothermic reaction. When we change from a liquid to a gas, that's vaporizing, and that is an endothermic reaction. And gas to a liquid is condensing, and that's an exothermic reaction. Liquid to a solid is freezing, and that's an exothermic reaction. Solid to a gas is considered sublimination, and that's an endothermic reaction. And gas to a solid is considered deposition, and that's an exothermic reaction. So there's also something called a triple point, and this is the correct temperature and pressure where all three states of matter can exist. So it can be solid, liquid, and gas the same temperature and pressure. So chemical properties can only be adjusted by altering the substance. This includes ionization, water reactivity, pH, and heat of combustion. Water reactive substances have reactions to water. There's something called ionization energy, and this is the energy required to remove an electron from a atom or molecule. So enzymes or catalysts are substances that speed up a reaction. We know about this when we talked about pepsin uh, in the digestive process. So they speed up the reaction, but they aren't used in the reaction. They don't get put into the compound. An enzyme lowers the amount of energy that is needed for the chemical reaction to occur. The substance that an enzyme acts upon is called the substrate, and every enzyme has a specific substrate. So amylase breaks down amylose. So solubility is when a substance dissolves in another substance, which the other substance would be considered the solvent. A solvent is able to dissolve. So if you think sugar in water, water would be the solvent. Concentration is the amount of a solute per liter. So the solvent would be water, the solute would be sugar. If you want that free 14 page ATI study guide, make sure to grab one down below. If you want the full ATI T's Science Study Guide, you can go ahead and click that link below as well and it will bring you over to where you can purchase. Okay, thanks guys.